Three months since High Court Judge Mumbengogi ruled that the appointment of the 47 county commissioners by President Mwai Kibaki in early May was unconstitutional and that they were therefore in office illegally, the officers are staying put. And this formed the basis of the Prime Minister's question time in Parliament Wednesday afternoon as MPs sought an explanation from Prime Minister Elo Dinga over their continued stay in office. What assurance can, we, can the Prime Minister give us that what he is telling this House will be followed by the provincial administration officials on the ground when evidence is that they are not in any way preparing for this uh, uh, restructuring of the provincial administration. There are no county commissioners today in Kenya. They are pretenders to the throne. However, according to Odinga, the issue has never been ratified by cabinet and was a decision unilaterally taken by the Ministry of Internal Security. There are always differences of opinion on issues of this nature. The speaker, we saw it when we were in Burma Street, Kenya, for example, that they were the centrists versus the revolutionists. There are those, the speaker, who are so much used to the centralized power that they do not want to let go. The contradictory statements made by the then acting internal security minister, Yusuf Haji, to the effect that the county commissioners should stay put and that by Attorney General Professor Ngidu Muigai advising the government not to appeal the court's decision also raised questions over the government's tendency to engage in doublespeak. There's another position by the other government which is represented by none other than the minister who has gone to court to against the advice of the AG Perhaps uh, you can take the challenge and tell us whether the other government is of the same position. Whether this other minister, as far as I'm concerned, I don't know who it is, and that other minister does not have the floor as things stand now. Is the Prime Minister in order to mislead the House that post-2015 the provincial administration would be absorbed into the county government when the presidential memorandum, Mr. Speaker, challenging some of the amendments to the County Government Act, Mr. Speaker, stipulated that the provincial administration would be serving the national governments at the local level, Mr. Speaker. The governor should be representative of the president, not a county commissioner. Can the prime minister tell the nation that the government he coordinates and supervises is not on the same page? Is it in order to say that those are pretenders and here the president and the minister for internal security are defending the same position. Is he in order? Is he therefore saying that the then minister for internal security went against the cabinet and the executive? In which case then why is he still holding office, Mr. Speaker? This matter has not been discussed and resolved in the cabinet that the government should appeal. So Mr. Speaker, anybody who has appealed has appealed in their private capacities. But some of the MPs still felt that the explanation from the Prime Minister was unsatisfactory. We expected to interrogate the Prime Minister further. You only asked for five clarifications, order. Mr. Speaker. Order and it's a, mat a very serious matter. Order member for we have been on the queue, Mr. Speaker, order for the member last for Chepalo. I will not entertain that way of doing business, yeah? MPs have argued that the county commissioners will be duplicating the roles of governors once elected in the coming general election under the devolved system of government. Odinga also assured chiefs, DOs and DCs that they will not be sacked when the provincial administration is restructured but will instead continue working in their current capacities until the devolution process is complete by 2015 when they will be incorporated into the civil service. Chris Dairu, Citizen Live at Nine.